Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what a co-op program is. So co-op basically stands for cooperative education and it is a type of education that combines classroom experiences along with practical work experience. The basic concept of a co-op program is that you would alternate some terms of being in the classroom with some terms of actually working for a company and gaining work experience in the field that you're studying. So you might ask, what's the difference between a co-op and an internship? So there are quite a few differences. The One of the major ones is that an internship usually lasts uh, between one to three months, whereas a co-op is usually longer than that, and it's three to six months. Another big difference is that a co-op is usually in the field that you're studying, whereas an internship can be in any field. And another significant difference is that the co-op is usually required as part of the curriculum of the college that you're attending, whereas internships do not count for academic credit and uh, you, you would usually do them during your summer holidays. Besides just explaining what co-op is, I'm also going to talk about my experiences during my co-ops and I'm also going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of going to college with a co-op program. Before I move on, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. So each school structures their co-op programs differently. For example, if I look at Drexel University, the school that I go to, they have two types of programs that you can do. One is a four-year program where you do one co-op of six months. That's basically a six month long internship. And there's another program where you can do five years and three internships of six months each. So three co-ops in five years. One of the good things about co-ops is that many of these universities have tie-ups with employers. So it becomes a lot easier to find a co-op by uh, going through the university system because they already have those tie-ups in place and it's a lot easier to apply to those jobs as sometimes they only require you to submit a resume versus writing cover letter and a big application. And then let's compare Drexel to University of Waterloo, which is in Canada and is arguably one of the best schools in the world for their co-op program. So their co-op system is such that the degree is five years long and you do four to six term of co-ops, which is four term, four months each for each term. So that comes to a total of between 16 to 24 months of work experience during your degree. Then there's Northeastern University, which is in Boston, and it's another famous school for their co-op program. Their co-op program allows you to do either three co-op experiences in five years or two co-op experiences in, in four years. So basically these are like, there are many different types of co-op programs which universities offer and it would be good to research which one is most suitable for you. So now talking about my experience with co-op, my first co-op was last year where I worked as a software development intern at a small medical devices company. And I thought that the entire experience was amazing. I learned a lot and I also got to apply what I had learned in the previous nine months in my classes at work. There were many times during my first year when I, where I like questioned why I was learning what I was learning and whether I would actually use any of this. And then it was a great experience to actually be able to put that, what I learned in the classroom into practice and uh, do something with it. Also the relationships that I made during my first co-op were amazing. I got to learn from so many different people like my supervisors and my coworkers. And I got basically like people like mentors to me and role models that I could look up to and learn from, which was something that I didn't expect. I would say that the university helped me a lot to get that co-op because I got it through Drexel system and the entire process was smooth. I'm actually working at the same place again this time. I'm working there part-time and I'm doing research in computer science at Drexel part-time. I mean, I'm still in college, so I don't know about what happens after graduation, but I do have a few friends that have graduated and they have gone on to work full-time at the same places that they co-opted in, in the past. So that's another good thing about co-op programs. One thing I forgot to mention is that most co-ops are paid depending on the major and that is pretty helpful as you can use the money that you save during co-op to use for your tuition or living expenses during the academic terms. So I'd say that these are the main advantages of co-op and these are the main disadvantages of a co-op program. 
I'm going to cover the advantages or the pros first. Uh, I have spoken about them throughout this video, but let me just reinforce them one more time. So one of the big benefits of the co-op program is that you get work experience during your degree so that when you go to apply for a job after graduation, it's a lot easier for you to get a job then, a full-time job. Another big benefit of a co-op program is that you get paid during your degree so you can use this money to pay for your expenses, which is very helpful. A third benefit of a co-op program is that it helps to give you more time to pay or tuition fees as in during your co-op terms you only pay a very small fee to the university so this gives you time to save up money and then you can pay for the next terms fees easily using the money that you saved up now let's talk about the negatives or the drawbacks of a co-op program so firstly it could take longer for you to graduate with a co-op program so for example in my case instead of taking four years to graduate i'm going to take one year longer and take five years so that I can do three co-ops. Some people might look at this as uh, a good thing that you're getting work experience during your degree, but some people uh, do want to graduate earlier and this probably might not be the best option if they want to do that. Another thing with co-op is that the schedule or calendar is pretty fixed and it's hard to change. So you don't get too much time off after your first year of college. And um, so say you want to go if you're an international student and you want to go back home pretty often for extended periods of time, it might be hard to do that. Uh, unless you do decide to do one of your co-ops in your home country, then it, it shouldn't be a problem. One disadvantage that I personally see is that I think that co-op programs are very rigid and it's very hard to change your majors when you're in a co-op program. It's definitely doable, like I've seen some of my friends do it, but they do have to put in a lot of hard work to cover up the work that they missed out on. I mean, this might be true at other schools too, but I think with a co-op program, it makes it slightly harder to change your major versus whether if you go to a regular school without a co-op program. On the flip side, it might be a good thing because if you do your first co-op and you decide that you don't like what you're studying, it's easy for you to change your major so that you're not stuck doing something that you hate doing. Side note, one way that I've seen people at Drexel use the co-op program is that, say we have three co-ops, right? So the first co-op, they might work at a small company, then the second co-op work at a medium company, and then third co-op work at a large size company. Or basically you work at different types of companies and then you see what you like doing and then accordingly you, and then accordingly you can apply for jobs after graduation and you actually know what you want to do because you've tried all these different things and seen what works best for you. With that, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching and that it helped you to understand what a co-op program is. And once again, thanks for watching and I hope you liked it.